First, the momentum meltdown is something we've seen about five times in the last four years. So it's not something we're, that we think is unusual, and it's a trend that by the time you and I start talking about it, it's probably at the end, not so the beginning. So it's a correction, not a It, it really is, and, I think, and, and there's a reason for it. I think the real reason tied to interest rates was in, in, in August, we overshot on the U.S. 10-year and the 147 level, and that's bounced some 25 or 30 basis points. So that had, is that sending a signal that the economy has gotten that much better? Or, and we should exit these trades that we felt safe in in a, in a slowing economy? Or is it just technical? And I think it's very much technical. So you're in the, in the just technical camp. Chris, Bob Bassani did highlight these moves at the top of the hour where he said a lot of those economically sensitive names are doing better. We'd love for that to be a sign that, hey, maybe you know, the, the recession odds are dropping. Um, where do you so, see things shaking out? Because it has implications for the Fed as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm largely in agreement. I think we had a, a bond rally, prices higher, yields lower. That went too far, too fast. We've had a little bit of retracement of that. You know, over the last five days, uh, yields have gone up quite a bit. And I think that is what triggered that big, ra that big uh, rotation from momentum and growth to value. Mm -hmm. I agree. I don't think that's going to last. I think we're going to have uh, that, that uh, rotation start to subside, and we'll see it actually pull back as people uh, acknowledge that the economy continues to slow. And in a slowing economy, I don't believe that... Uh, uh, value will be as 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 good a place hmm. to be uh, so during that situation. What would be some specific recommendations, Chris, then, where you think people should be? Does that mean you buy literally the momentum ETF? Does it mean that you buy, you know, the tech uh, REIT plays, for example? So for us, we're really watching three themes. We're looking at the U.S. economy that's slowing, but it's actually stronger than most of the rest of the world. We're looking at the Fed, which is easing and, and, and loosening financial conditions. But it's that third factor that we're watching, which is the trade war, the wild card. Yeah. If the trade war is in more of a pause and reignites, which is what we expect, that's going to be really bad for momentum and high PE stocks. But on the other hand, if the economy continues to chug along at a slower pace, that's not necessarily so good for value. So actually, we like quality stocks. We'd okay. be looking at stocks that have stronger balance sheets and, and uh, more profitability. So, for example, one area that we've been looking in is within healthcare. So if you look within healthcare and look for those with better brand names, those kind of consumer staple like healthcare stocks uh, that have not had the, uh, that have sat out the rally in okay. staples, we think you can find some good value Give there.